All right. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? Ba'ashem, Rakwa, Kodash, okay? I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, okay? And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect, all right? Like this is the word prudent and this is the definition it says wise judicious or wisely cautious in particular affairs okay sadducees sadducees okay discreet or circumspect sober careful in providing for the future for one's own interests etc provident characterized by or proceeding from prudence as conduct action etc a prudent decision and i'm gonna get one more definition And I'm gonna get some scriptures. Okay. And this is the word Sagittarius. Okay, it's kind of a little tongue twister for me, but uh, it says having or showing acute mental discernment and keen practical sense shrewd a sadducees patriarch of the tribe alright wise sage you're not talking about uh, the herb matter of fact I just read sage real quick uh, sage a profoundly wise man okay a man famed for wisdom. A man venerated for his wisdom, judgment, and experience. No, I'm sorry. And, um... Yeah. Experience, I'm sorry. That's right. A uh, wise, judicious... Okay, prudent. All right. Now I just want to bring out them definitions. Okay, and I'm gonna get some scriptures on being prudent. Okay. Now, um, the first scripture I'm gonna get is from the book of First Samuel, the 16th chapter, which is um. Uh, a, a, a good chapter to read because it's going into uh well i just read the hidden just so for the sake of time uh first samuel 16 it says samuel sent by the heavenly father to bethlehem uh he anoints king david saul sends uh for king david to quiet his evil spirit okay but um i'm gonna get straight to the point because <laughs> I was re actually reading this chapter before I got into the lesson, you know, so it was just part of studying, okay? Um, but I'm going to get straight to the point. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 18. It says, so I kind of, man, brothers can go read it for themselves, but I'm going to get straight to the point. This is 1 Samuel 16 and 18. It says, Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehem, Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, okay, a prudent in matters, and a comely person, and Yahweh is with him, okay. So it says that King David was prudent okay 
Um, and once again, prudent man, you're wise in your you you circumspect, you sober, and it says careful in providing for the future for one's own interest. What is our interest, man? You making it into the kingdom. Okay? So if you're prudent, you're gonna look wise to your going, as the scriptures say, and I'm gonna get it, okay? Um you do things now for the future, okay? You wise, you looking wise and you 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 being wise now for what's what you gonna run into later on, man. And that goes for your whole everything you do in your walk, man. In this truth. You know? You don't just, you know, yeah. You know, to hell with it, you know, whatever, whatever. I deal with that later on. You you do things now, so when later on get here, it'll be okay, man. So to say, so you can understand, okay? You be prudent, you being prudent, okay? You looking wise to your goings, man. All right. Now I'm gonna get some scriptures, cause there was so many that I wanted to go into, but I'm gonna just get straight to the point, man, for the uh, sake of time. All right. Um, I'm gonna start off in the book of Proverbs. I wrote them down, of course. This is Proverbs 13. Started, uh, well, I'm gonna get it's 13 and uh, 16. It says, Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, okay? But a fool led open his folly. All right, I'm going to jump over to, to 14 and 8. It says, The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly of fools is deceit, okay, is lies. All right. Um, also in the same chapter, 14 and 15, it says, The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going, which was the scripture I was quoting, which is, it goes directly with that definition, man. You looking well to your going, man. Okay? I'm sorry. Uh, it's like, let me get another one. Um, this is Proverbs 16 and 21. It says, the wise in his heart, his mind, okay? The wise in his heart shall be called prudent, all right? And the sweetness of his lips increases learning, all right? So it says, and the sweetness of his lips increases learning, man, all right? It's good to listen to a prudent man bring out wisdom, man. Okay? Bring out knowledge and understanding. All right? We as Israelite men in this truth have to be prudent. Okay? We have to look like the scriptures say. I'm going to read it again. Um, Proverbs 14 and 18. It says... The simple inherit folly, but the proof to lock, I'm sorry, uh, 14 and 15. It says, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his going. Okay? So that's, we have to be that way in this truth, man. You have to be prudent. Okay? You have to, I'm going to read it again. You have to be wise, judicious, wisely cautious, man, about the things you do because the consequences could be dire, man. Okay? 
That go for everything, man. In this truth, your walk, the way you carry yourself in this in this world, you have to be prudent, man. Okay? You have to be wise. You have to be uh cautious, man. Okay? You just can't be all over the place just wilding, man. All right? You have to be prudent. Um, then we get the Apocrypha. And I'm going to go to the book of Sirach or the book of Ecclesiasticus. And I'm going to, uh, let me see. Yeah, I, uh, this is uh, the book of Sirach or the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, A wise judge, okay? A judge that. Uh, that a uh, uh, judge that judges wisely okay according to this word because this word is the standard that gives you this is how you're supposed to judge things okay so you filter it through these scriptures the decisions you make okay because the decisions you make today is gonna show up later on man okay all right, it says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Now, you can look at this society and see that it's not being judged by wise men, man. A wise judge and a, a, a prudent government wouldn't have homosexuality if this wouldn't be exist man because a prudent man would judge according to the scriptures okay and it wouldn't you wouldn't have to worry about your children being taught by trannies and homosexuals man because if you were wise and instructed people and prudent, you that wouldn't go on. You wouldn't have to worry about that. But since this place is not being judged by wise, prudent men, you do have to worry about that. Cause they not looking well to to their goings, man. Okay. This is just a lawless society. And that's just an example. Okay. Get another scripture. This is uh still in the book of Sirach uh six and thirty-two. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught, and if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. Okay? And get another scripture and it's a it's a lot of scriptures man but for the sake of time i just you know kind of narrowed it down to the ones i just really wanted it to hit on you know through the spirit um and now i'm gonna end it on this scripture you know this is the book of uh Sirach, uh same same book three and uh 22. you know what let me see I'm sorry, it's 29. Con, it says, uh, the heart, again, the mind, because this is your heart, man. This punk blood, this is your heart, what you think with, man. Okay? It says, the heart of the prudent will understand a parable. All right? And an attentive ear is, desi is the desire of a wise man, okay? So a wise man will have an attentive ear. He's going to want to hear this word, man. He's going to want to get in, uh, get uh, the understanding of this word Cause he, so he can walk wisely, all right? And do what does said the Lord for later on so he don't get destroyed, okay? 
It says the heart of the prudent will understand a parable. Okay? And the ones that's not don't understand these parables. They stumbling blocks to them, man. Okay? It says, and then an attentive ear is the desire is is the desire salakia of a wise man. Okay? I got a precept rope next to that. I just want to see what this is. Bear with me one second. Oh, well, let's just go right with what I was saying. I'll bring it out real quick for the sake of edification. This is the book of Matthew 13 and 9, which goes with that uh, scripture I just read out of the book of Sirach 3 and 29. I'll read that again and I'll bring this out. Uh, the heart of the prudent will understand a parable. Okay, now when you read in the book of St. Matthew, and I'm gonna just read it, I'm gonna let the scripture speak. This is the book of St. Matthew 13 and 9. It says, Who had ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, said unto the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? You know, and he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given, okay? Now, that wasn't the point of this lesson, but it came out. You know, I, you know, I said I was going to end it on that one, but shit, you know, the spirit do what it want, all right? So I just wanted to go into the definition of prudent man and bring out uh, scriptures to... Uh, to go with their definition okay so you have to be prudent man all right so that later on your goings you have a, a positive outcome okay you know and with that man i just want to keep it short and sweet and uh hopefully there was edification in this lesson all right and once again i'm gonna give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rakwah, Kwadash, okay, and the Holy Spirit, all right. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel. And I want to say peace and blessings to the elect, man, okay. Until the next time, Shalom.